2017, Professor Mauto Avoke, who was the Vice Chancellor, was instructed to vacate his post until a case against him and the University Council by one Supiko Fukuaira was determined. The plaintiff alleged and cited financial and procurement irregularities on the part of Professor Avoke. He also claimed that the University Council's mandate expired in 2013. However, the Education Ministry failed to constitute a new governing council. The university based on these interdicted Professor Avoke and four others after it was alleged that some vital documents at some offices at the center of an ongoing investigation had disappeared. A fact-finding committee that was set up to look into the matter suggested the dismissal of the officers in August 2018. President Akufuado in 2018 supervised the investiture of a new Vice Chancellor, Professor Anthony Afubroni. Reverend Afubroni's term expired on the 1st of October 2021, upon which the pro Vice Chancellor, Professor Andy Okori Brokan, was notified by the Council to act as the Vice Chancellor. But on Thursday, a Winneba High Court, presided over by Justice Abuajitando, ordered for the reinstatement of Professor Maoto Avoke. The court also charged the university to reinstate the other four principal officers who were unlawfully dismissed. On Monday, there was a heavy security presence on the campus of the university when Professor Mauto Avoke was led by the university governing council to the chamber for a brief meeting before ushering him back into the office. EEW governing council chair Nana Oforiansa addressed the media after the meeting. Prof Avoke is back. Prof Obin of uh, Uri who acted as um, the acting VC and is now back to his position as the pro vice chancellor, has given us the assurance that he will lead a crusade of peace, which he has already initiated. It is the vision, the wish, and um, the admonition of the president that litigation must end somewhere and with that court ruling litigation at U E W has come to an end to what uh, it is the prof a worker's position that demands council's um, action the rest are managerial so once he's taking over, he will also execute those. Thank you. The now Vice Chancellor, Professor Mauto Avoke, after his reinstatement assured he would work towards peace, unity, and a serene academic environment, and would also work towards reinstating other dismissed officers but, uh, of the university. What is the agenda required at the University of Education today is unity, reconciliation, and peace. It is also critical to understand uh, we must work together in unity, otherwise uh, we cannot forge any development agenda. Uh, even as we celebrate today that we are back to the university, we also mindful of some of our colleagues who have not had the opportunity to come back. And so, in the coming days, uh, we will work with council to find where to see that those other people who were dismissed were at home. Uh, would also uh, come back. Uh, after all, we have lived for five years without money, so that is not the most urgent need at this point in time. Our concentration and focus should be on how we bring peace, unity, and reconciliation to the investing. Those other things would come as a matter of course. Thank you all very much. The four principal officers who are supposed to be beneficiaries of the judgment and are awaiting reinstatement are the finance officer, Dr. Theophilus Senior Akoli, Daniel Tete, Mary Jimmy and Frank also bought in. Reporting for Joy News from the University of Education Winneba, Richard Kwejenya Akon. Thank you for watching. Subscribe and click the bell icon and get notified every time we share something interesting. We would love to have you on the